I am back again with my second video. I am really excited that I'm going to be doing this video. It is my February TBR, and I have joined a readathon, so I'm going to hope that I'll be able to start the start one of the books, and then I'm hoping that I'll actually get through it. It goes through the emojiathon goes through the whole entire month of. February, but I have those four books in this TBR as well as some books that I've been that I want to read this February and possibly March too. So let's just get this started. First one is part of the Emojiathon. Oh, let's just say the first four are part of the Emojiathon. So this book is a thriller and that is called Nerve. It is about this girl. It is about this girl named V, and she's behind the scenes. And then there's this whole game that's going on, and she wants to get out of her shell. And she tries signing up for this um, game or whatever. It's got it has um, two options. You are the you can either be the watcher or you can be the player. And she, a couple times she's been the watcher. So now this time she's auditioned for the role of uh, for the role of the player, and she auditioned for it. She already signed up and everything, and then she's got to go through this crazy journey with this other person. Um, yeah, she's partnered up with a, I think a person named Ion, Ion, Ion or Lan. I don't know if it was an I or it started with an I or an L. But um, she has to go through these challenges, and then one thing leads to another, and suddenly she ends up having to literally having the game control her entire life, I guess. At least that's what I've read from the movie trailer, from what I've uh, heard in the movie trailer. Yeah, this book was turned into a movie, and I am going to read this book before I actually see the movie. Next one is a contemporary. It is summary, and it is called "Since You've Been Gone" by Morgan Manson. Manson, Manson, yeah. This one is an is an interesting contemporary book that I am I am going to read, and I'm hoping I'll enjoy it. It follows around this girl. She's really shy, and she's got a best friend who's apparently popular. And then one day, her best friend's not there, and she's wondering what's going on. And her best friend leaves. Um, so her best friend leaves a list of things that she has to do to get her out of her comfort zone. So I am going to be excited. I know this one is supposed to be for summer, since it's a summery contemporary, but. Hey, why not have summer over the winter, right? Next up is a book. is also in the Emojiathon. And that book I've been trying to read since the 7th grade. And that is Everlost by Neil Schusterman. This falls around two kids. Um, I feel like I'm doing a book haul. But I'm not doing a book haul again. This is TBR and I'm doing it. But it follows around these two kids named Nate and Allie who end up getting killed in a major car accident and they're trying to get home and then they get go through all of these um, problems that they're facing and bad guys and everything and they're stuck in between they're stuck in Everlost which is between life and death. So this is a trilogy. This is the first book in the Skin Jacker trilogy. Next one, I changed the last one instead of going to the tearling. Just gonna get through it. I changed it to obviously the book that I have in my hand right now because I've been anticipating it for a while, and that is The Trials of Apollo, Book One, The Hidden Oracle. I already talked about this in my book haul, so. Next, I am currently reading this one. I'm on like page. Mm. 25 i'm on page 25 and it's a mystery and that book is password to larkspur lane it is by carolyn king so anyway um this is the 10th book in the nancy drew series 
quite interesting to be exact. I've already read The Hidden Staircase, and I am curious as to what where this one's going to go, because she's already got a couple of clues, and I'm wondering where this is going to go. Next is a book that I have been dying to read, and I don't think I showed this in my book haul, but I'm showing it now, and that is Talon by Julie Kagwa. This book I've also been wanting to read for a while, and I'm hoping I'll be able to get to it soon. I did start reading it before, but then I stopped reading it because I had just too many books to read. So I just sat it down, and I never went back to it, but now it's in my TBR. Next up is a book that I bought. It is completely short, and that book is The Doll in the Garden by Mary Donning Hutton. This is a ghost story. I've already read it before, but I want to read it again. And this will be so interesting to read, and I am pretty excited to get into it. Next up is a book that I've had um, since I was, I don't know, I don't know, but since I've had this in for a while, it was at my school in a book fair, and I decided I should get it, so, and that it, it is kind of historical, I guess, I don't know, but it says, in 1958, Little Rock, Arkansas, these best friends refuse to give up on each other no matter the cost. So, this book follows around two girls, both of different color. This is a time when there was a lot of segregation and protests and all that, whatever. And these two, um, one of the main character's best friend, she goes to a white school and she, um, and she befriends the, this other girl named Marley. And she meet Marley and Liz meet, and then they suddenly become friends. They spend a lot of time together, but most of the time it's like it's kind of against the law to actually befriend someone who's not the same color as you, obviously, since it's um you know what. I mean. But this is the Lions of Little Rock. I am gonna try to reread. I am gonna try to read this again. Next up is obviously a very worn out book I've had since I was in elementary school and I never got a chance to actually read it. Uh, well, I've read it, but most of the time I ended, I ended up, I ended up uh, kind of ruining the cover already and it's already torn up and everything, but that book is The Circle of Secrets by Kimberly Griffiths Little. This follows around a girl named Shelby Jane who her dad and her mom have separated and she is forced to live with her stepmom with her mom and her mom lives I guess in Louisiana yeah in the Louisiana Bayou and um, yeah she also she discovers I guess this bottle tree I think. And then she suddenly gets thrown into this mystery or something, because it's all obviously the Circle of Secrets. And it sounds so interesting that I am ex extremely excited to read this. Next, I have, uh, next book I have here is probably one that I'm literally going to start immediately, along with a couple of others. So, that book is... Uh, Legend by Marie Lu. Uh, my friend Rochelle read it. She said it was good. And this is the first book in a trilogy. And I um, literally had it for a while. And as you can see, it's still in perfect condition. And I never really got into it because the book cover is just like so silvery. And it's just giving me a headache. Oh, whew. Next one is the second book in a trilogy, which the third book was called in my last video over here. And that is Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. This is the second book in the Hunger Games trilogy. I have not started reading it yet. And I literally just finished the first book right there. I finished the first book. And, um... I'm just going to try to get through the second book and see if it's just as good as the first book. And if so, then 
Because it was made, all three movies were created with the Hunger Games, and all the mo all the books in Harry Potter have been turned into movies. I'm also planning on reading more of Harry Potter as soon as I find the third book. I'm collecting the Harry Potter series very slowly. So. I only have four more over here, and the next book I have here is the second book in a series that I cut that one of my third videos or something that I ever uploaded on YouTube is actually still there, but I'm but I probably wasn't good at it, so I decided that that's gonna be a different whole different video. Anyway, um, this book is the second book in the House of Night series, and it is Betrayed by PC Cast and Christine Cast. This book is the second book, and I am pretty excited. It's vampires, it's fantasy, and it's everything I enjoy. So. Next book is a dystopian novel, and it's kind of worn out from other people reading it, because I ordered it off of Half.com. And that book is Matched by Ali Kondi. My first, this was show, I showed this in my very first video that I, I think was my very first video that I ever uploaded to YouTube, and I already got a lot of, I already got lots of views on that, so I am pretty stoked about picking this book up and reading it. Okay, the next one I got for my birth, my 16th birthday last year, and that is Ripple by Mandy Habar Hart. I can't pronounce her name. Mandy Habar. Where was it? Oh yeah, Ripple I got for my 16th birthday and I am I've been wanting to read it. It's apparently a mermaid book and I'm wondering how it's gonna turn out. So next book is a book that my tenth grade teacher gave to me. Um he asked, he w he's a big re he was a big reader, and um, usually I would sit with Rochelle, and we would, we loved sitting at a table by ourselves and reading books. Like, we just, we just, like, we, did, we just didn't talk. We read books, and we got through a lot when we read it in, um, we got through a lot when we read it in, we read in our lunch hour, and it was lunch A, because my boy, my friend, my boyfriend and Jessica, my best friend, they were in lunch B at the time, so I was kind of stuck. And then I ended up in lunch B the second semester, and I just they just I just didn't get to see them. But now I don't have really, I don't really have time to read. And why am I going on a tangent? Anyway. The next book here, this is the last book that I'm ever picking up. Aside from the other books that are on my TBR over there, but those I am not starting it. And that book is Daughter of the Sword by Steve Beans. Beans. So, yeah, uh, this is a young uh, an adult series. Um, it's, an, it's one of the Faded Blades. And I have not read a book like this before. You can see how thick it is. So I'm going to I'm going to be able to read it. So that's okay. That's all for now. Thank you for watching it and I really hope you enjoyed this. Check out my other channels and I'll record one more video and that's gonna be it for tonight. Goodbye.